Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take a little trip and find the Sol system. Um, this is a hidden system in Spore. Uh, there's hints of it later in the game and uh, you can kind of guess it was rumored to be in the game to begin with. The hardest part of finding the Orion, uh, the Sol system, is finding the Orion belt. Um, there's five belts in the Milky Way here and we have to figure out which one it is. Uh, the key to finding this one is to locating the uh, short belt right here. Uh, it's got the, the belt with the short arm before it breaks. Um, it's pretty separate from all the others. It also has the hardest curve. Uh, once you have this one identified, two arms to the left is the Orion belt. The area you're looking for is the first little bulb after the arm breaks. Uh, the very key of just getting right onto the bulb there. Uh, the soul system lies close by there. There's a wormhole that we'll be going to that really makes it finding easier and should be the name the same for everybody, I hope. Um, anyways, let's begin. Uh, I'm down here right now. We're going to make our trip. Before you leave, uh, I'd suggest having the Interstellar Drive 5 and Max Energy 5. The trip is very taxing on uh, resources. Uh, the other thing to remember is when you leave, this can take anywhere up from the five or six minutes it takes me to do it now to the 45 it took me the first time I went to find it. Uh, without a key point of reference, it makes kind of a searching for really difficult. Uh, we make our way through here. Uh, for those of you who are going to be on the other side of the galaxy, um, make sure you avoid the galactic core. Uh, if you have any wormholes you find along the way, you can try and test them out, see where they take you. Uh, the core is very, very densely populated. Um, in fact, your uh, drive distance actually reduces the closer you are to the galactic core. Um, as you can see right now, my distance is dropping. It's because I'm getting too close to the core. Which gives me a good hint that, yep, there's the Guardians. We need to move away. I happen to go just too far in. Uh, right now I'm making my way out towards the Orion Belt. More fun baddies. So, here we go. We're slowly making our way. Sorry, this is so boring. It's just a very tedious process in trying to make the distance having to use my first battery pack. You'll run across a lot of uh, races as you go across here. It's a good way to work on some of your badges. I have a lot of badges already. Um, I already have the communication badge 5, so I'm ignoring the signals I'm running across. Every time I come through here I get a few more, which is kind of interesting. Uh, just the number of different populated planets that this game actually generates is absurd, but oh, as we continue to work our way, I now need to work my way up northwest here. You'll see I kind of use uh, the max view here. It uh, makes it a little bit easier to figure out where I'm going. These big white bright spots are, are the wormholes. Generally they'll have they'll spawn these little white circles around them as you get close within sensor range. These really um, can help in navigating the universe if you can map them and remember which ones go to where. 
I have a few that I know exactly where they'll take me. In fact, there's one right next to the soul system that takes you within spitting distance of the galactic core. Uh, so once you find soul and if you want to try and make your way to the core, uh, explore around the area. There's a wormhole there that'll take you there. I'm not going to tell you which one, just that'll be for another day. So we're continuing to work our way here. We're almost to the key portion of this. So, as we get here towards the edge of the band, right here is your key area. The gap between the two portions of the arm. You want to go and make your way to this nice little nest of stars. Kind of easy to separate. They're nice, just a nice group, nice big area in between them. So you make your way into them. Once you get here, you'll notice we have two wormholes. The key wormhole we're looking to get to is the one here on the right. So we make our way across. The wormhole we're looking for is PLT67. 236B. This is your key wormhole. As you zoom out, you can look over here and you see your max distance ring. Soul happens to lie right along the ring. Mine happens to be right here right now. You can go there. And we zoom on in. And here we have all of the soul system. Remarkably, Pluto's left off. Um, as some of you know, it's not necessarily a planet. Uh, Jupiter and Saturn both have colonizable moons, uh, Ganymede and Titan, respectively. You also have Mars, Venus, Mo uh, Mercury, and the moon. Is all places you can modify. Uh, Earth, when I found here, only had one plant on it. It was a large tree. I've since then populated it and placed a colony in Russia. The only landmass I found besides Antarctica that could sit, fit a colony without tearing up the terrain. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your little trip, and hopefully you'll be able to find Sol yourself and plan out exactly what you're going to do with it. Uh, you all have a good day.